stay a used to attack it. Hey, be careful. Jeremy was able to get a drop on me because I was too focused on other things. Once the units finish charging, they'll become stronger. I know it's tough, but we need to destroy it before that happens. Understood. We'll knock out the weapons. There has to be a leader among the enemy defense forces. We need to eliminate them to stop the defense units from charging. Squad is inbound. As Esmo mentioned, if they finish charging, we're all done for. As you know, my mission was to remove the source of the contamination in the abandoned area before it spread to Albion. Where you rescued me, near the pipe there, my unit and I were looking for the source of the contamination connected to that pipe. We were on the verge of finding it. But the soldiers in my unit started getting sick, one by one, from some unknown disease, while the order of truth seemed to be getting stronger by the day. You know I have a sensitive nose, right? Well, my soldiers and the enemy smelled the same to me, but their symptoms, how the disease affected them, were the opposite of each other. It doesn't make any sense. Once I figured that out, I didn't just sit on my butt. I mobilized all of my men who were able to move and scoured the nearby area. That's when they turned on me. I knew I shouldn't have pushed them so hard. Jeremy showed up, and you know what that idiot said? Albion considers all of you to be expendable. Follow me, and I'll give you power. Let's take down Albion together. Ah, it sounded like a bunch of hogwash. But then he took out the Iron Heart. And it was the first time any of us had seen something that had seemed like just a rumor. To be honest, it was also the first time I'd seen the real thing in person. And even I thought it was pretty extraordinary. Though because I'd been connected to the guide from the start, I didn't fall for Jeremy's speech. But when that bastard said what he needed for his plan was nearby. One by one, my men pointed their guns at me. What did Jeremy say it was again? What he needed? That's right, a seed storage. And I knew the source of the contamination was there too. My nose told me. You're planning on going to the seed storage now, aren't you? In that case, focus on finding Jeremy. Destroying the source of the contamination. The seed storage was my original mission. I'll try and recover, and get back on track with that as soon as possible. I'll make sure to blow up whatever it is Jeremy is trying to get his hands on.
We've secured the airspace above the operation zone. I'll leave you to handle the interior. Enzo has minimized external interference. We should be able to better focus on our objectives. Descendant, we need to determine what the Vulcans are doing inside the cave. We need to know why the items that Jeremy is pursuing are inside, as well as what they are. As Jeremy is not new to me, there is no way for me to know what he is planning. We must stop him before it is too late. Here are stronger. Please be careful. appear to be intact. Jeremy must have been able to evade them. This must be the high-density Kuiper that Jeremy mentioned. Between the standards, this is contaminated waste. It is also identical to the substance mentioned in Al Zarok's autopsy report. What? saying is, Jeremy took it. There are no access records on this terminal for anyone else to from us. That is all I can discern for now. We must explore the her. I will focus on detecting pulses from the Iron Heart. The Vulcans have established a large-scale Kuiper refinery here. Of Just the idea that Alzaro exists is proof enough for me that we can't allow this to continue. If we will finalize the detonation of the facility, or you eliminate the enemy forces. Jeremy want this. The substance cannot be used by humans. There are no signs of Jeremy here either. It may be because of the contamination. No. The density of the Kuiper is too low for that. Jeremy was after high density Kuiper and didn't touch any of this. Check the total amount of Kuiper within the facility. in the 
China I defy. How surprising. There is a larger kind of deposit on the other side of the city. But you should focus on eliminating the enemy first. for centuries. It probably contains a high level of contamination. What? Okay, everybody get out. I'm going to blow it to hell right now. I suppose don't blow it up yet. Jeremy might still be inside. Enzo is correct. We have not found any evidence of Jeremy at any of the other places so far. There may be signs of him on the other side of the vicinity. Nice right. I'm so pleased that you came all this way in person, descent. I'm curious about the effectiveness of the enhancements to my forces. Additional hyper 
it appears that there is another more important zone to the Vulgus than this one. Thankfully, Jeremy did not progress that far. We must destroy this place before we can obtain the Kyber. If we destroy this location, there will be no suitable zone for Jeremy to obtain high-density Kyber from. Should he look for Kyber in an outside source, he will not be able to avoid being detected by us. This facility, that is. SMO and I will handle this. Can you report back to Alpha in person? This intel is sensitive and we don't want to risk Jeremy listening in on any comms. I'll send you the rendezvous point shortly. SMO, wait up. Jeremy has got hold of Vulgus DNA and contaminated Kuiper? Well, the bastard always had a special interest in the Vulgus. He was always praising how much stamina the Vulgus had, their power, their technological prowess, and the possibilities that they unlocked through genetic improvements. I didn't want to discourage him as he was doing useful research into the enemy's capabilities. But I can't deny his obsession made his teammates uneasy. There was an incident where he captured a Vulgus production facility. He argued that Albion also needed to create artificial soldiers. The Colon Counterintelligence Unit investigated his research and seized his records. He was sent to the detention center for a time as a result of what they discovered. He was nearly expelled as a descendant. Wait. Once he's acquired the Ironheart... There's no reason he won't go ahead with his plan. I wonder if that's why he studied the autopsy report on Alzarok so carefully. He's likely after more than the quantum storage box containing the Ironheart. We need to examine all records involving Jeremy and any of Albion's supplies. All right. Now that I understand the gravity of the situation, you may return to the field. I entrust the capture of Jeremy and secure retrieval of the Ironheart to you. Demolition of the seed storage has been completed. Rendezvous point set. No matter which way you look at it, it definitely is the Tree of Truth. Switch to a public channel as you requested. Now answer our questions. Hey! Who is this? If it isn't Alpha's little bit... I'm in this sentence. We'll be asking the questions, Jeremy. What is your location? I was just about to thank you guys. I'm inside the seed storage, which you guys so kindly cleaned up for me. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of the Vulcanus. I was able to swipe some highly concentrated Kuiper and organic matter all because of you. <laughs> when did you... Idiot. Did you forget what I can do as soon as you couldn't see me? There were so many blind spots. Until SMO blew the place up, that is. I don't know why you're all making such a big deal out of this guide. She can't guide anyone. She couldn't even find the Ironheart when it was inside a quantum storage box. Jeremy, have you thought about surrendering? Think about the lives of the innocent soldiers you've influenced. Don't you think our bigger concern should be the future of humankind? I'm sick and tired of the incompetence of Albion's military commanders. Actually, having the Iron Heart, which we worked so hard to get, why are we so fixated on using it on the dimensional wall? Do you really think this fight will end just because we closed it? Even if we stop the Colossi from coming, how do we plan to deal with all of the remaining Vulcus and Ingress? We have more casualties daily than there are new recruits. You think Descendants will make a difference? Huh. Even if we can clear an entire battlefield, do you really think that's enough to turn the tide in this war? You're deluded. Descendants are just as vulnerable as the rest of Albion's soldiers. We're all mortal. And if 
the Magister's equipment breaks and our Arche runs out, descendants will be nothing but frail human beings doomed to die. But the Vulcus, they continue to advance even as we speak. The Ironheart makes them even stronger. Humanity needs to be stronger, and I know how. I'll soon show you. Just wait. Jeremy? Jeremy! Damn it! There's no way he would have taunted us with an encrypted call that can only be accessed from a short range. I'm positive he's looking for something near the tree. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm ready to blow it all up. Esimo, if the output of the machine installed on that tree is correct, half of the swamp will be blown away. Please calm down. This is so frustrating. I'm going crazy. We need to take full control of the area around that tree. be strong, but you have to keep it at bay. I'll keep the sensor operational until we find Jeremy. 